What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. And today we are checking out some Iron Banner weapons, one of my favorites, and then one that I have never used until today. Let's go ahead and start with this one. Now the Peace Bond is an adaptive frame sidearm, so that's going to be well-rounded, reliable, and firing a three-round burst. It feels really good and it's also stasis and a kinetic, so you'll love to see that. Now I've been interested in getting a good roll on this thing, and I finally got one to drop with Iron Reach. Iron Reach really bumps the range on this thing and makes it way more usable in a lot of different ranges, and I definitely noticed while I was using this, the Iron Reach makes it so good. When you can just take those SMG fights and kind of smack them a lot of the time, it feels beautiful. And you're not going to go as crazy as the ranges that some SMGs can go, but you can get pretty close to be honest, and that feels great. Pairing with that, it also has Killing Wind, so when I get the first final blow, I can increase my mobility, weapon range even more, and handling. So once you start popping off and getting a kill, you can really streak really well, and especially in game modes like Rift, like we're playing today, because hey, it's Iron Banner, we got the Iron Banner muffins on, right? It can just feel amazing when you're taking everyone out and you're just clearing it out for your team. This thing feels great, but every good close range weapon needs something that pairs well with it. And that's where the Forge's Pledge comes in. This is an adaptive frame pulse rifle. I actually love this thing quite a bit. Adaptive frames are probably my least favorite archetypes out of any pulse rifles. Lightweight frames probably were my least favorite before the buffs, but since the buffs, lightweight frames feel amazing, and adaptive frames feel like they need a little bit of love, honestly. Now I have some different roles in the Forger's Pledge, but this is the one I'm using today. So we're going to have Hammer Forge for that range, Accurate Eyes for that range, and then Surplus, and Elemental Capacitor. Now we're going to get 20 stability on this thing with Elemental Capacitor, since I'm on Void, because we're a blinky boy, of course. And then with Surplus, we get increased handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. So this thing has crazy stability. You can see it's all the way at 72, which is absolutely beautiful. Our origin trait here is going to be Skulking Wolf, so during the hunt, or while your team is carrying the spark, final blows of this weapon grant enhanced radar and remove you from the opposing radar. Not something you really think about too much. The enhanced radar is definitely great, but... You know, it's nice to have, that's for sure. Now, the stability on this thing is great, but I still do notice getting flinched quite a bit. But either way, it's nice to have that flinch, especially with the recent flinch changes. Finishing off with a ranged masterwork and then a full auto retrofit. I also have a full auto retrofit on the sidearm, just because it makes the weapons feel better to me. You'll see I get some pretty good kills with this thing. It has some good range, and the TTK on it is not terrible. Definitely a solid weapon. If you haven't tried it out, I'd recommend grabbing a good one and giving it a go. Our heavy weapon is going to be the Half Truth Eager Edge Sword. And let's go over these mods really quick. Just two pulse rifle targetings and a taking charge. Then we have a sidearm dexterity here with the pulse rifle loader, just so we can load that pulse rifle a little bit faster because the adaptive frames don't have the best reload time out there, and get that sidearm out a little quicker with that dexterity mod there. And then some double unflinching on the pulse rifle. You could put an unflinching on the sidearm, maybe I'd switch that if I kept using this, but honestly I just like to have as little flinch as I can on these long range weapons, and I didn't notice the flinch too much on the sidearm, but there definitely was times that I noticed the flinch, so if you want to go one and one, I definitely think that's a good idea. We got our boots down here, that's going to get a sidearm holster on there and besides that just a bunch of stats love to see that and then some utility kickstarts and high energy fire to round off the build there whenever we fully use our rift those utility kickstarts will help us get a lot of that rift energy back immediately and we love to have it so that is the build and this is just my iron banner loadout that i wanted to try for the day i like trying new things especially when there's different game modes out and this was really fun i'm definitely going to be using this peace bond more in the future i've been liking sidearms more in the past couple of months and I think they have a lot more viability than certain people think they do. So I will definitely be checking out some more sidearms. And if you guys have any good recommendations for sidearms that you want me to check out, then leave them for me in the comments and I'd love to give them a go. All that being said, I think we are ready to hop into this gameplay. I do want to say we are on the road to 10k subs right now. So if you want to join, I'd be happy to have you. But if you don't want to join, you just want to enjoy the video, that's completely fine with me too. All that being said, why don't we go ahead and hop into this gameplay. Okay, and we got Convergence here for our first match, which is probably my favorite out of the map pool that they have. I just like Convergence, to be honest. And I know I say it every time I get the map that people genuinely, generally don't like it, I think. Which I don't really know why. I think a lot of it's conflated with having it on Trials weekend, so it's still a little stinky on Trials, but 6v6, I think this map is pretty great. I've only used this build once. I played one match with it just to warm up a little bit. So, that's all I have. But sometimes I play better before I warm up, because if I play too much, then I start getting salty at the meta. <laughs> And just like silly things happening. So honestly, I think it's better if I just don't warm up too much before I start. I'm gonna go around towards Waterfall and place a rip down. Oh god, somebody's coming. There's some of my melee out here too. Maybe we can peek this? Where are they? Oh god, Osteostriga stuff. 
I'm just looking for anybody. Ah! I'm going to link back up towards Waterfall here. Let's attack this guy really quick. We do have Killing Wind, so we're a little faster and well, a lot of things now, honestly. Oh, I wanted to smack that guy. He got a little bit behind the cover where I could shoot him there. Let's put a Rift down. Grab Clarence. We do have our weapons burning since this is an Iron Banner setup. Whoa, and then Lordly Splendor, we're never going to beat that because he's just crutching too hard. Unfortunate. Man, the flinch on this thing was crazy. He started shooting me with that SMG and my bullets just went nowhere where I was aiming. Spam my E button. Do you guys spam your respawn button when you're about to respawn in TVP? Because I keep doing that. I mean, I've always done it. Because I just want to get back in quicker, right? I'm going to throw a scatternade on that guy. And then we'll get freaking cooked because their entire team is just staring at us. Smack one. We're really stuck here. Saw three bullets, so I just wanted to shoot them out really quick. Yeah, you're going to have to do a better blink than that if you want to get it over on me, my little guy, but, but try. <laughs> Teammate went down with the spark over here. So that my teammates are going to get some reses, and they'll pick up the spark if they like it. A lot of kills over here. That was good. We held down really well there. I want to push forward while we have the chance. Or they all just pinch this area. Ooh, good team shots. Somebody towards bridge. He might hop up top. He might go down bottom. He did go down bottom. Oh my lord, what is sucking me? He vortexed and wither hoarded? How do you even get both of those off? Let's just do a big old res. Okay, I only got one. Oops. I probably could have got more there. I'm going to chuck a scatternade here just because of that. That's a shoot through. we got to be careful of that. We'll put a rep down just for some healing and clearance. I don't want to hold down sights too long here. just don't want to get tunnel visioned. Oh my god, nice job, teammate. You really fucked us there. Brother, you gotta get ready for that. <laughs> Ooh, Sword Boy? Oh no, Glaive Boy. This Titan could be an absolute clutch player right now. Looks like he... Yeah, he actually did. Clutch up pretty good there. Oh no, he got a shit slot. Unfortunate. That was a good push from us. We did good to keep clapping them. Got a good scatternade there, but it wasn't quite enough. Ah! Oh, teammate, you did not just ruin my blink. No worries, we actually go to live. Let's throw a scatternade here. And I can hit him with this sidearm from here, but I'd rather just back up and reload really quick. Is he really still just shooting? Brother. Leave this place. Let's look outside here. We do have our teammates all getting bopped and clapped and slapped in here. We'll shred these guys up real quick. Maybe we can take one more peek on this guy. Teammate did good damage to him. He had to kind of back up. Whoa, nice weather horde. That's going to cut off some good area for them. We're just aiming together. Oh man, it's right on the edge. Oh my god, he accidentally put that on me. Teammates get a free push here, right? Like, there's no way they let him get away. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you kind of got me killed, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, let's go, teammate. Thank you for the help. Okay, they easily pick that up. They put it in. They score. Right? Nope. Shoot through shield. That was... Okay. Res me? Okay, or just watch my ghost. That's fine, too. The thing with blink is you can really easily blink it in and score, but... Not when they're all on top of it like that. I kind of want to try to get those weapons alight before it expires. I just blink pop up, Floated myself. We're going to shred this guy real quick. Keep pushing forward. Oh, I didn't get the weapons alight. One might push from the back here is what I'm waiting for. We might repeat this. I'm going to res my teammate. Get him up and ready to go. 
Smack that guy's shields off. Someone's coming behind us. And honestly... Oh, son of a bitch. No, sit down, sit down, buddy. Okay, now I did hold them in their spawn really well here. Took a lot of them out, so that should make us pretty secure for the rift here. Let's throw a scatternake quickly. Oh, fuck, it got caught. Oh, I fucked my jump up there. Not too bad. Woo, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Teammate, get off of me. Yeah, that Vortex and... Vortex and Wither Horde combo is nasty. Fist of Havoc. There it is. I'm going to blink across this. Blink one more time. I'm going to try to get an angle on the right side. Maybe we can push this. Get a rift down. There goes the spark once again. Shit. I was able to get Clarence out, but not much more than that. We can go for a sidearm play here, unfortunately. Oh, he doesn't know that that's not the right move. Where is this guy? Come on behind me. And Lordly Splendor. <laughs> Could you imagine if, as a warlock, when you got hit enough, it just spawned a zone under you that made you unkillable? No, you can't imagine that, because you're a fucking warlock player, so of course you can't. That is insane. He's 1 HP, and he just gets to have a magical bounty youth under him, where he just can't die. Great, thanks, Bungie. This is the most back-and-forth bullshit I've ever seen, which honestly is, kind of makes it more fun, in my opinion. I wouldn't mind going down on the side here. Okay, you score. Right? Let's go. Look behind this guy, maybe get him. He just kept running away. Well, that was an interesting match. It was literally just a 1-0 for the entire thing. Look how many rewards we got. But it was pretty fun, I will say. Just going back and forth like that, we got to slay out a shit ton. Let's go ahead and grab one more. Hey guys, if you want to make some Blink Warlock friends, then go ahead and join the Blinkfield Discord server. I'll have it linked in the description. For now, let's get back into the video. Hey, and Bannerfall. Good, good, good. Had a couple of stinky matches so far that I've just been looking for one more good one if we can grab it. The problem with this matchmaking is that there is none, and so it's either just... It's usually just lopsided completely in these matches. It's either your team is smacking or the enemy team is insane. And it takes all the fun out of the match. That first game was actually a good example of an exception where we were pretty evenly matched and it took forever for anybody to score. I think that's mostly because each team was too focused on kills rather than the objective, which is also a big problem. If you don't want to play the objective at all, then don't play the game mode. Just go do <laughs> survival or something. You know, there's plenty of game modes where it's just kill, 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 kill. Yeah, I need you to die, so go ahead and do that for me. Thank you. We're gonna blink up top here. They might chase, and if they do, then we can just shoot them from here. Especially one of my favorite angles, you can make people chase you. Peek through this window, take them out really easily. But I don't know if we're gonna peek there, so let's get back into it. We see our teammate battling up here. Maybe we can go with a sidearm. He just absolutely smacked him. Maybe we can throw that through there? Nope. Just the problem with the tracking on that melee right there is it will get stuck on doors and whatnot, tracking onto them when they're not even there yet. We'll grind him down real quick. Uh-oh. I should be able to blink to cover here. Blink one more time. Okay, I didn't go over. I went and smacked my face. That's okay, though. You can just scatternate on this guy. If he walks back, you should hit it. They're out pushing us, too. Take that guy out. Grind him real quick with some nice bursts. And I'm looking to peek again with my... Pulse rifle, but also maybe the sidearm could do work here. 
I don't know. I really want to get in there. There's this guy behind us that's worrying me. Oh, they traded. Okay, let's press our teammates. We have 30 seconds on the spark runner. Teammates are doing decently at clearing a path for us. We saw another one over here. He's probably going to peek right here. Maybe we can go with his sidearm. Teammates did good there. And there's no shot we pushed this yet. We're going to lose Spark Runner, actually. We can throw this down here, and it will track. And as you can see, if you can get somebody's... Oh, do you just die? <laughs> okay, I kind of thought it would drop it at my location. Teammate with the res, though, and he can just... um. Ooh. No, thank you. Here you go. Why don't you sit down really quick? Got an Axiom Bolt by him. Let's blink away. Oh man, there's more over there. We can blink out easily, so I'm not too worried. I thought they were going to push me from the door, top door, since that's where they were shooting me from before. We have really good stability on this thing with all the perks that we have, so we got to make sure we use that. Just waiting for them to pee from anywhere, watching our radar. Maybe we can go in with a sidearm here. Probably a dumb idea, but... Yep, especially after we heard a healing nade. As soon as I heal a healing nade, I'm out. He's chasing really hard. And he's just gonna shotgun me. My teammate is not. Okay, good. He picked it up. And he reses us, right? Yeah. I really want to get this spark in, but it is a pain in the ass. I'm gonna blink out to the side and take an angle on this. There was one more there. I saw one more. I'm going to throw a scatternade there. Maybe not. Can we collect this? Oh god, you're my teammate. Go, 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 go! Let's go! <laughs> I just wanted to take them out on bridge and then fucking book it, and that's exactly what we got to do. Yeah, I like this loadout a lot. The iron reach on this sidearm is definitely noticeable, and it gives it some really good range. If you just hit a couple of bursts to the head, you can take people out really, really quick. Might take a challenge up top with the pulse rifle, which can be risky, but also can be fun. Okay, no one's coming, so let's head down to the bottom. Put a rift down. Maybe sidearm it. Oh. We can go back over here. We can grab some shield from our teammates. Oh, these guys are annoying. Well, this is the spot I was telling you about earlier. We might be able to use it here. No, it looks like they're all dead already, anyways. They're going to our rift from the inside. Might be able to just... Yeah, he got absolutely grinded. We heard the uh, healing nade because, of course... Oh, there's a dude. I'm out easily. The only problem is they might score. Yep, and there it is. Yeah, unfortunate. I was doing damage then. Teammates were not, is what it seems like. Nobody has supers, apparently, but they had a bubble on top of our fucking rift, so... Just a mistake from them, it seems. You can challenge up top again. Maybe they'll actually challenge this time. Yep, but unfortunately it's two of them and not just one. Let's three peek with our rift. And they're just all peeking together because this is freelance and you know how it is in freelance. Everyone is a perfectly organized squad that plays as if they have mass communication. And then your team does not. Although that was some nice clearing there. We did good. I'm going to push up top and get around to the side here. My thought is, if we clear them from the side, then we can get our teammates in. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, look who's got the bubble this time, stinky boys. And that's going to charge our super. Perfect. Okay. Evened it back up. Well, evened it back up. We're ahead. What I mean, it's 2-1.
I forgot that I capped early. And honestly, let's go down to the side here. Try to take a second, get my aim on point. He gives me a lot of flinch, so I was worried about that, but I was able to take him out. I'm not going to let this guy res. So I'm just holding this. There we go, the res disappeared. So that's one more back to the base for them. And my teammate is going this way. That's awesome. I'm going to clear this guy out. And we're going to get back in this hallway. Because they might chase me. Oh, I don't have my um my melee. Which is going to be fine because I'm going to be able to smack him. And that should secure us another point. Unless my teammate absolutely fucks up. Which he did. And then that guy just like jumped through the doorway. Ooh, one of them rage quit. That's fucking hilarious. Deserved. I can't believe my teammate messed up that push there. After I cleared that so well for him, he should have easily had a score. But at the same time, they did good at stopping the runner. So, it's not too big of a deal. That's a Dawn Blade from them. I don't know where. Nice, man. Um, you're a freak, but interesting. Okay. One more point, or we can play the time. What is there, like a minute and a half left? Oh, just a half a minute. Okay. Well, I like challenging this the last time. This is pretty fun. I don't know if he wants to challenge it again. Looks like maybe not. Instead, somebody's going to shoot from over there. And with an adaptive frame, we could technically win that. Just like that, we just need to get a little bit of a better range to where we can make our... Full strike will hit for max damage, and as usual... Holy shit! <laughs> right, let's check the leaderboard here. Nice, towards the top, Rift Master, of course. And I'll open this Eververse Ingram since we just got it. And as usual, absolute dog shit. Well, if you guys enjoyed, I really appreciate you watching. If you want to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see more in the future. And that is it for me today. Have a great day, Guardians.